losing it. He's like, if For that sure. happened to me, I would definitely want to run back or something like that. Because, you know, it happened in the first 10 seconds. So it's right. Like, I get it. But we out here playing to win. There's a lot of money on the line. $484 is going to first place. That's a lot of money. God. For a this local, a weekly. for a weekly, like this 140, 140 plus. yeah, 140 something people yeah. today. Our second biggest weekly ever. The first one really? being the anniversary, the Zeno 100. Right, that's awesome. So this yeah. is the biggest ultimate one yet. Yeah, uh, by far. Nice. So, yeah, last week we had 112 or something like that. 122, 120 something, 122. Yeah. But here we go, Mystery versus John, the real game one. Oh, oh, he's alive. I thought he. I like, down. We, we can only restart the game so many times, gents. We got to get out of here eventually. I thought he air dodged down, he just air dodged normally, so that was all good. So, Mystery's gonna be doing a lot of zoning action with the sword, right? Trying to space uh, Inkling away while not getting too close, because Inkling, John, what John wants to do is just get right in Mystery's face and just have a heyday. So it's up to E to just kind of wall him out and keep him at a arm's length. Ooh, yeah, so he actually went for the third variation, which actually backs him up a little bit, so it's hard to get a shield grab. That was really smart for Mystery. And that's what you see with a character specialist like this. And Mystery, I mentioned it last time he was on. Uh, I've been playing pretty much solo Marcina for such a long time. Um, and he is a Marth in this game. A, yep. a lot of people have been saying that they'd rather go for Lucina, including MK Leo recently. Right. And, but, but Mystery refuses. He is a Marth main extraordinaire. He wants to see how far he can push this character to its limits. And I don't think that when people say Lucina's better, it means that Marth is necessarily bad or significantly yeah. worse. It's I, just like, that forward air would have killed I see Lucina. That, I see that Lucina has a lot of advantages in this game. Marth always, of course, has yeah. the Marth things. Uh, I can see how Lucina would be marginally better, like, not taking into account any context. Yes. Yeah. Well, right now, but I feel like Lucina Mystery is so good, you know, at Marth specifically, and always has been, as the up throw will finally take the first stock. No, I think it makes sense for him staying on with Marth. Uh, I think it we'll does. see a lot of. I think we'll see a lot of Marth mains stick around, and a lot of Lucina mains stick around, and we'll see. You know, I'm sure we'll see some switch around, but. All right, here we for the go. Most part, it wouldn't surprise me if everyone just sort of stays with where they were. Okay, Numbers is looking for this roll. That's like it, Numbers' favorite move is a splat roller. Because if you get caught by that, you're pretty much you're dead. dead. Yeah. But also beyond that. Oh no, uh, there it is. Yeah. Oh, oh, it fell misses. out. Good mash out for Mystery. So one of the things that I'd like to see uh, from Numbers off that is when I've seen a couple of other Inklings. I know when when uh, Kony won the tournament a couple weeks ago, he was doing this a lot. When when you hit someone with a roller, uh, you can just like wave dash back and forward smash and it's a lot, or up smash and it's a lot quicker than running roller canceling and running back. Got them smash four habits coming in. So if you're if you're able to uh, jump and wave dash out of it quickly enough, that is I think the fastest way. Oh, good delay! What? Because he delayed the third, the fourth swing, the finisher, he was able to get the tipper swing of it, and that is Marth coming into action. I'm, I'm aware he got the tipper. Yeah. I was questioning the dying at 68% thing. I mean, okay, listen, and he lived to like 195% first stock, so it, it was given <laughs> that he had to take a very early stock for the second one. You know, that's fair. And now Mr. E almost a full stock up. Yeah, and he's covered in ink. Get that 50% extra damage coming it's out. A very orange Marth. Ooh. Now an even more orange mark. Glowing orange. Doesn't it get up to 1.8 for times damage when you're fully uh, 1.5. It used to be 1.8 before the game was released, and then okay. pat, the very first patch lowered it, or something okay. like that. Maybe that's... it was like an E3 build. Regardless, right now it is 1.5 times. Okay, that's still ridiculous, but less ridiculous. Yeah. So that makes sense. Okay, 163%. John's looking for a kill here. Oh, he ran out of ink? Ooh, I don't know if that actually affected it or not. I think it does affect jab. I'm not positive, oh, but it, I think it does. It does affect jab. Because he fell out of jab. That's why he got hit. Rapid jab doesn't work. But right. like, I wonder if that because the ink ran out is why he fell out of it. Right. I, th I think it is because he, he fell out of jab in the yes. middle of it rather than any part before Gotta it. Got to watch your ink management. There it is. Oh, Mystery trying to go clever. for a quick foot. That was actually smart of numbers to go for that roll. Just because he knew Mystery was looking for that up. He had a shield. One of his fa Marth's fastest punishes in the game had a shield. Now, Numbers uses the uh, just the normal like paint shot a lot more than I see most Inklings do. Uh, and he uses it pretty effectively a lot of times. That one was a little unsafe. Ooh, okay, that was interesting. Yeah, splatter sh the splat roller splatter is shot. not right. yeah, the splat roller is not safe on shield whatsoever. Oh, you cannot roll chase. against him. Good tech chase. It's actually kind of weird. You have to like not tech against Inkling. Because yeah, or tech in yeah. if, if they go early. Right, right, right. But if you don't tech at all and you're just laying on the ground, you can't get grounded. Yeah. That was him. He's trying to use the splat splatter shot to try to push him off. Right. Okay, Orange Marth looking for an opening here. Still sitting at 144% on his final stock. Numbers one roll away. Yeah, honestly, he'd probably go off stage at this point and try to go for like a, a aerial. Oh, he could have killed him with a back throw there. Get Got impatient, tipper. jumped out at him. Wait a second, he's out of jumps. Catches him Great out of the spacing. super jump. 
He like reeled back. Look at John. He's like, did that just happen? Look at Venya's face back there. <laughs> you caught me out of up B. Are you real, good sir? That move is supposed to be invincible, right? At least against two frames. It's pretty hard to two frame, but he got it right yeah. there. The very tip. Coming in clutch right there, and John uh, goes down game one. Zyphon, I'm pretty sure there was a video online that talked about how hard it is to, to two-frame two inkling. Two inkling with, like, down tilts and stuff. Yes. I and have been unable to do it with even with yellow down, like yellow Pikmin down smash. But Mystery just can't showed us that Mr. he Mystery just hit it. With a tipper to boot, mind you. I mean... I think that's the it, only way he could do it. Yeah, honestly. I mean, most likely. To be fair, it's pretty easy to space out a tipper if it's a ledge option. Right. So I'm, I'm giving, you know him, I'm giving him too is. much credit, but it's still a really good kill. Coming from Eric, coming out of nowhere at 144%. And John could have had the kill like just before that. He yeah. got him in the air. Uh, Mystery went for an up B. That was John's game to win. And he, he could have had a, a back throw. Okay. Uh, he went too aggressive. So for those that don't know, John actually is a fan of Splatoon. He streams Splatoon 2 at twitch.tv slash John Numbers a lot. Consistently at 3 in the goddamn morning. Yeah, he doesn't have his... his a good time. He's going to stream after this, I'm sure. But which is why he yeah. counterpicked this stage. He's a big fan of the series. He loves the music. Music is fun. Haven't played the game a lot, but I like the music. It's, it's, it's a fun game. It's its own world, for sure. Yeah. It's, it's, very unusual, but it's it's nice. Yeah, see me at B minus rank, man. Like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, got rolled. Okay, he was at too low percent for uh, John to actually try to follow that up. A little too far away. Even at that low percent, you'd be really good at mashing, though. And there's an example of Mystery right. not teching. No and tech. Because of that, so he, he didn't get, get grounded. grounded. Yes, smart. That could have been on purpose. Taking a lot of damage, though. He was inked up for a bit there. Oh, I thought that the spike grenade wasn't going to blow up on him. Mystery looking for an option. John baits it out. Just goes for the fourth throw, pl plastics with some more ink on him, uses the desperate counter to get back on stage. That was a good but counter right there, as numbers will fill up on ink here. Oh, oh and then we got an SD coming out from Mr. E. Unfortunate, dude. It's too late in the game to try to ask for a rerun run back. Okay, 90. Okay, that could have been the time for Mr. E to, okay. Shield grab, very smart. Again, shield, safe on roller. And you see him going for those up tilts in case John wants to get a little antsy. Good, Good tech. tech. You saw him chasing after him? Wait, that's actually a tricky movement right there, right? Because when you see an inkling dash back and forth like that, it's like, are they dashing? Are they rolling? Like, what are they doing? Inkling's <laughs> dash confuses me more than anything else in this game visually. Because they dick, they duck onto the ground. It low profiles. The ground. It low profiles. But also, out of the initial dash, there's an animation where the squid jumps out of the ink. And it yeah. looks like a jump, but it's just a dash. It's yes. just more of the dash. It's also, in a freeze frame moment, it looks ugly as sin. <laughs> like, what is this abomination? I, I have not yet Is it a kid it? or a squid? Nobody That's what knows. I'm asking. No one will ever know. Maybe John Numbers knows. I, you should ask I, him. No, I'm not going to ask him anything. I'm not either. <laughs> okay, down to. Oh, he's out of jumps? Oh, trying to use the spot dodge? I mean, what was that? it okay. doesn't matter. He was just doing that to get back to the stage because yeah. he committed to the air dodge. There was no way he was coming back. Right, yeah. Just trying to see if he could get out of the ledge yeah. there. Because he got hit off stage without his jump. Your double jump is such a valuable resource, and John Numbers is clapping back, dude. 179% on three stocks? And this is where we see, and people have talked about Marthritis in every game. We saw it last game, where first stock, uh, numbers lived till an up, an up throw at 188. Mm -hmm. And second stock, he died at 68 to side B. <laughs> so you never know what you're going to get with Marth. Able to kill you at pretty much any point in time, but also can struggle to find kills in certain situations. You know what I'm shocked by? The fact that Mystery didn't ban FD. I feel like FD is like one of Inkling's best stages. I there's, agree. There's no platforms to escape the roller, you know? I mean, he started FD against Venya, so clearly he's not opposed to the stage. Yeah, I, he just likes it. He didn't He didn't win. It's, it's, he, no. You shouldn't take Venya to FD, in my opinion, or oh. many opinions, but... <laughs> I mean, if you like the stage, you like it, man. That's, yeah, that's, I, what, that's what Mystery wants to do. I understand not banning it in this matchup if it's a stage that he's comfortable on. Uh, I don't think it's necessarily a bad stage for Marth, more so just good for Inkling. Because this game is looking pretty bleak for E. He needs a miracle. Wait a sec. Okay, good, good. Uh, oh, forward tilt tipper. Not enough to get the kill just yet. 97%. I don't Winning. think that was the tipper. I can't imagine that would have. Do that swing. That, that. that sound effect. Okay, we're back. Everyone's fine. The thing, not not Mr. E, dude. 164, literally one grab. Aerial attack. Yeah, back roller. throw kill at this point. I don't know oh, if it'll all the way across stage, but he didn't go for it. Strange he doesn't go for it there. He's got so much ink on him. He's just diving up so deep. Inkling can, can afford to do that. 
Get back though, just for stage position. Tries to, he, okay, right there, Mystery, try to gamble it yeah, all. Yeah, he's dead. Hey, good kill, you know. But, he got uh, him. But he that is going to take him. it for numbers. Uh, we move on to uh, game three now. Uh, numbers were a pretty convincing win that game. Yeah, it was a problem for Mr. E because at the end there, you see him taking a ton of risks because he kind of had to. He had two sure. stocks to work with, so if he could close it off something really quickly, he would have, which is why he went so low there at the very end. He was hoping, he was gambling that John was going to recover low, but John immediately used his double jump, got back to the stage safe and sound. And at that point, it was worth a shot. He yep. probably wasn't going to win the game. You might as well go for something. Try to turn the game around and give yourself mm. a chance. Okay, so Yoshi's Island Brawl and Smashville getting banned by John. Mystery coming out with the counter pick. That's understandable. I think that layout is very good for Marth. I think more so than Inkling. Mm. Uh, I think Marth sitting under the middle platform there is a really scary situation, whereas Inkling not quite to the same level. Well, we're going to uh, go to a stage that kind of has Final Destination in the second transformation. Okay. Town and City. Uh, wireless controller. All right, we're good. <laughs> it's gone now. The Wait. subtract player button is really useful. When you're not player one. When it's not player yeah, one yeah, yeah, that's yeah. connected, yeah. One day, they'll just make it so you can just do the one individual yeah. player, you know? But subtract here, player off the front. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> subtract player forever. Here we go. Town and city. Night times, because it is uh, 12 in the morning. It is It is officially Thursday here on the East Coast. Oh, jeez. Happy 2019, by the way. Yeah, happy new it's, year, it's everybody. New year. There it goes. This is the first it. Dino of the new year. Yes, sir. Lots riding on this. You know, Mr. John weekly. numbers, even though they're both in loser's side, they know they both have a chance at coming back and winning this thing. For sure. These are always two people who are threats to win the bracket, always have been throughout Smash 4. And also, this is the first tournament in the Tri-State, uh, the Tri-State, uh, uh, not PR season, the circuit is the word I'm looking for. This is the, uh, the second event, sorry, but this is the first Xeno in the Tri-State circuit, so a okay. lot's riding on this. You get, you get the maximum amount of points for getting first place. Right. So... Try to work your butt off. Gets the grab on the neutral get up there. Just keeping him in disadvantage as long as he can. He'll look for a kill whenever he can get it. And this is what Mr. E was so good at last game. Uh, last game meaning Smash 4, not the last right. game that was played. Yeah, um, yeah. last just, video game. Yeah, l ledge trapping for such extended periods of time that while Mars' individual options don't do much damage there, you know, Forzar does, you know, five, and then the Ford air will, or Nair will do 10 or so. He just, he tacks it up slowly and then eventually punishes a neutral get up or something like that. Yeah, I mean, Dolphin John's Slash. John's going for a lot of neutral getups there. Dolphin Slash is a great option for catching the neutral getup because it's active for a lot of frames. Comes out and super it's very quick, fast, and it kills. Yeah. Did it, it kill earlier in this game? I it don't feels know, like it. It kills. That's all. It I know. kills for sure. Oh, try and chase him. Looks like an accidental air dodge, or maybe just to get away from any sort of follows from Mr. E. Because again, Inkling can recover from anywhere, so she can afford to just go for an air dodge that low. For sure. And Inkling is a character that you can really edge guard if you have good offstage edge guarding. But as you mentioned, really hard to two-frame. Even though we did see Mr. E do it, it's not something you can really rely on consistently. So if you don't have great offstage game and you have, or you have the potential to be reverse edge guarded, you really sort of have to respect the recovery to a degree sometimes. Hey, Mr. E respecting that grenade, but he's gonna get two frame because he had re-grabbed the ledge. He, that was literally a trap. Like yep. Mr. E had to make a decision. His decision was to back off and. Numbers and capitalized something. on it. Numbers yeah. had pretty much every option covered from that yes. situation. It, it's tough. When, that, when you get that slow moving grenade coming at you, like. Yeah, this flat grenade is, is tricky. They're trying to keep him airborne while it is FD for a while. The up airs here juggling him. Oh, yeah. And that's, that's where we usually saw Mr. E go for a down air in Smash 4. Finally does it at the end there. Uh, but uh, the down air not only hits below Marth, uh, it also shifts his hurt box up a little bit, moves his legs up out of the way of some moves. So, Mr. E used that move really well to dodge things like that in Smash 4, uh, even though it was not a great move across the board. Now I think the move is a lot better, too. And now we got Mr. E looking for this opening. Because Marth kind of low profiles himself slightly when he dashes, so he's able to right. avoid that splat grenade. Not to the level of Inkling, but yeah, a yeah, little yeah. bit for sure. Gets and the Tipper, tipper Fair forward is take it. air. My word. Taking him to the final stock. John needs to close this out right here, right now. But the thing is, John will never go for that up throw up air. He's going to try it. Did not work. I'm not super convinced how real that thing is. <laughs> yeah, uh, so John's, little. John says it doesn't work. So that's why he never goes for it. I, uh, I have never, I have yet to see it. True combo. It could be tough. All right, here we go. Oh, caught him swinging. Gets the that's up smash. Do it. That's all. Literally, it's all John was looking for was for Mystery to commit to any button whatsoever, and he capitalized. Final stocks. And now it is an 8.6% difference to be exact. 
uh, as we go into the last stock here. Numbers brings it back already. Yeah, winner, he's got a slight lead now. Winner, this is going to move on to semis. Uh, do we know who on the other side yet, or is that I think it's screen? still happening right now. Okay. Yeah. And that is Dark Matter against... Um, Ooh, not sure. Gets the fourth swing we'll of see. the side B. This game very even right now, but Numbers on ledge against Mr. E. Not a situation you want to put yourself in. Okay. Again. Just takes the forward tilt and gets back to neutral, though. That's pretty good. Yeah, forward tilt, a great anti-air tool. Catching him. Oh, I'm hearing all these tippers again? 95%. Mr. E's sword only has tippers. <laughs> oh, not that one, dude. Oh, not that God. One. He tried to set it up for it, too. Offstage, 107%. Another tipper up air, sending numbers flying. At this point, it's probably, like, decayed. Oh, Nair one into up tilt right there. Almost going to kill. The next tipper hit of any kind will probably take this game. John is having trouble getting back down to the ground. Mr. E's just not letting him have any sort of stage control. Here we go. Oh, What's the, the forward the, tilt? Dolphin slash. You the ledge dash got him back on. That throw over not quite going to kill, but Numbers has made this game again. Oh, no! Oh, she got it! <laughs> okay, gets out of there. Mash is out of it, though. Back Numbers here. not able to wave dash down fast enough. 168%. Mr. E, look at it. He got the attacks prayer. to get him out. What a crazy Grab game. Up throw, up get out of here. Oh, lay! What a set that was. An incredible finish to game three. So, Numbers was stuck on ledge for such a long time. Eventually goes for the wave land on the uh, ledge dash onto the stage, and it works. It gets him back to neutral. He gets the roller and does not get the kill off of it, and then eventually is able to kill, uh, Mr. E is able to kill him with the up throw, and that is going to do it for that matchup. What a set right there between numbers just... and Mr. E.